what is up so um update on the whole getting rid of the truck and all that um went to look at a t660 with a studio sleeper in lacrosse wisconsin at wisconsin kenworth um checked it all out good motor good transmission good rear ends um we're looking at stretching it um and putting a second fridge in so that way i can have one fridge on the passenger side that would be just for my meals that i prep and the other side would be for like pop and fruits and veggies and you know try to keep you know so that way i can have more fresh stuff um but yeah man um the guy wants two 2012 660 it's got 820,000 miles on it so it does have a lot of miles um but it's forty-four thousand dollars. So I mean, for the year of it, it's like okay, yeah, um, it's gonna have that many miles. But I was also able to put into the deal a four-year warranty, knowing that within that four years that I'm gonna have it, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to put a motor in it. So the motor is gonna be covered, um, and I. Th I still gotta figure out the whole details on it, but I think he said the DPF will be covered too. So that's some kind of like, okay, you know, that's cool. Um, I didn't want to go with that many miles, but because they offered a warranty, I figured that's a lot better, you know. So um, I got pre-approved for the loan, and so it's uh, a 30-month loan with 15% down and I'm guessing I'm probably going to be back at that $1,500 to $2,000 a monthly payment again which then means um, I'm going to be living back on the road so that's why I'm getting bigger sleeper right what you see behind you is the sleeper wall this is just a 72 inch sleeper okay so I'm getting an 86 yes i'm losing this up here that for storage right but over on this part of the wall going the whole width there's going to be storage there so then you're going to have all this right the upper closet the, the compartment the closet right in here right but then over here you're also going to gain another closet so i'm going to have more storage I'm going to have two fridges instead of the one that I have right here. Um, and uh, better fuel mileage, more horsepower, uh, bigger transmission, um, same rear ends, stretching it. So I'm basically incorporating what dad wanted for me plus what I want. So we're kind of coming together. With what dad want, with what dad wants and always liked, and what I want for customization. So, um, hopefully that'll be ready here in the next couple of weeks. But um, until then, I'm just gonna keep driving this truck until they call me up and say it's ready, come pick it up. And uh, yeah, when I get it, I'll probably make a video of uh, the truck, the interior, all this and that, and I'll probably be making one from when I pick it up in Wisconsin and from when I pick it up where it's done at Dusty's where you'll guys, you guys will see the stretch job, the extra fridge, and then after it goes to Dusty, you'll see the headache rack, the boxes, the visors, the lights, everything that I'm doing. So, but as you can see, I'm still in the truck. I'm working, I'm on my way down to Louisiana, shut down for the day, um, so yeah. That's what I'm doing, back on the grind again. But uh, you guys have a good day. Thanks for subscribing. Um, like the page. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It helps me a lot. And as always, um, keep the shiny side up, greasy side down. We'll catch you guys on the flip. Peace.